Factsverse presents Russian scientists kept five people awake for 30 days, and the results were frightening. We like to keep people awake, too, by binge-watching great videos. Be sure to click that like button and be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. That way, you won't miss a single episode. Most people need to get seven or eight hours of sleep each night if they're going to be productive the next day. Anything short of that could leave them cranky and useless all day. Can you imagine not getting sleep for days straight? How about weeks straight? In the 1940s, Russian scientists kept five people awake for 30 days, and they didn't expect this to happen. The Russians were performing an experiment. They were going to keep the subjects awake for four weeks. The five men chosen for the experiment were enemies of the state, and the goal of the experiment was to test small doses of an experimental gas on these men that were supposed to eliminate the need for sleep in humans. Each of the subjects was kept in a sealed environment. The researchers could not be around because they didn't want to be exposed to the gas themselves. While the subjects were separated from the researchers, they were still able to communicate with them with microphones. They were also given a toilet, a sink with running water, books, enough food to last each subject an entire month, and also a cot without any bedding. When the men were locked away, things went well at first. They were told that if they cooperated with the experiment, they would be freed in 30 days. That wasn't true, but the subjects didn't know that. For the first few days, the subjects started opening up to each other about past traumas. For the next four days, the conversations got a bit darker. On the fifth day, the subjects were becoming paranoid. They were also complaining about the circumstances that caused them to end up where they were. Soon after, the subjects started whispering into their microphones. They thought that if they could get the scientists to trust them by turning on the other prisoners, that they'd be set free. By the tenth day, the prisoners were screaming. For at least three hours straight, one of the prisoners were running back and forth, screaming. It wasn't long before his voice started cracking and he couldn't speak. The scientists assumed that his vocal cords were torn. What was very strange, though, was that the other prisoners didn't respond to the man screaming at all. When the scientists didn't hear anything from the chamber for a while, they began to get concerned. It was when they started using the intercom to get the subject's attention. They said if the men cooperated, they would be freed. But right after, they heard a calm voice come over the microphone. It said, we no longer want to be freed. On the 15th day of the experiment, the gas was removed from the chamber and it was replaced with fresh air and oxygen. The researchers put on gas masks to protect them from any lingering gas in the chamber and they went inside. They found only four of the five subjects still alive. The food they gave the subjects hadn't been eaten in the last five days. They found there was flesh missing from the dead subjects' thighs and chest, though, and was used to clog the drain, resulting in the room being flooded. Even those who were still alive had flesh and skin missing. Most of the wounds appeared to be self-inflicted. The subjects who remained in the chamber refused to leave. The researchers couldn't figure out why. They didn't want to get close to subjects, so they brought in soldiers to do it for them. Even the most experienced soldiers were afraid to go into the chamber to bring the corpse out. When they tried to get the living subjects out of the chamber, things started to get violent. One of the subjects was killed when they tried to get him out. The researchers asked the men why they didn't want to leave the chamber. Each of them had the same response, I must remain awake. It turned out the experiment did keep the men awake. However, within 15 days, the subjects had lost their minds. This story may sound familiar to many of you, as it's known as the Russian sleep experiment. It's a creepypasta. But some believe it really did happen. What about you? Did it happen or didn't it? Either way, next time you try to get a few hours sleep and are having some trouble getting to sleep, think about these five men and what they went through for an experiment that led to nowhere. Subscribe for more!